Shawty looks so fun like that. Cooler with my baby, let's spend time like that. Everybody know that I like that. Staying down for my baby, I won't lie to you. Always gon' ride for you. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, so I was unpacking my boxes and then I was like, wait a minute. I'm going to just do a little quick unboxing video for the vloggy vlog. So, quick break. So, I got me another Moo If you know me, you know I love my Moo So, I got me another Moo Okay. And then I got these cute shoes, y'all. These are so cute. And my mama sent me these. These are so cute. They like CAU inspired. And I thought they were so cute. So... Thank you, mama, for the shoe. All right. And then over here, I was in the middle of unboxing it, but I was like, wait a minute, I got to show my people. So this is my chandelier, y'all, that I'm going to hang up in my dorm room. And we can't, like, screw at the end, so, like, I'm DIYing this. And I'm going to show y'all how I DIY it when I move in, but you just know your girl be happy them tricks up her sleeve you know you can't come from the country so i'm gonna hang this up in my room i want to give y'all a sneak peek there you go quick little sneak peek of it it's gonna be so cute now see if i don't hang it up in my room i'm gonna hang it up in the living room so all my uh, roommates and my friends you know we can uh you know have a cute chandelier in the living room because that would be really cute. Um, so, next, what else I got in here? I got the fairy like string to go on your curtains. So, these are really, really cute. I got to take this shit and send these to my roommate so they can know that I got it. So, I got these for the room. And this going to go in our living room. Me and my roommates. It's going to go in the room. Uh, what else I got in here, child? Oh, got my diffuser. So in here, this is my diffuser. So this basically is a diffuser. I don't know what to call. I don't know if it got the things included. Hold on, let me see. No, it don't have it included, but it it, it can light up, y'all. It got light up, and then you know it needs to blow. So. I got me a diffuser because we can't have candles and you know last year I was risking everything but this year I'm not trying to risk nothing because probably was great. I got me some more hangers if y'all know me I always go recommend these type of hangers because it's a hanger within a hanger so you can hang about four hangers in this one little hanger and then you can drop it down pin it up y'all y'all need this right here okay so then also what's this I got these curtains are these pillow covers i thought i ordered the pillow see this how amazon be getting you man i thought this was gonna be the pillow not no pillow cover hold on let me see what it is hold on y'all amazon done got me y'all i thought this was gonna be a pillow the thing said pillow though that's why i'm so confused this is a pillow cover now i got to sit here and buy a pillow the reason for me buying this was so I didn't have to buy a pillow. Now I got to buy a pillow. Oh, Amazon, you better count your days for this one. You better count your days. Okay, so y'all, this is my wall art. It says, whenever you feel overwhelmed, remember whose daughter you are and straighten your crown. Isn't that so cute? Like, what? I feel like this is so cute, y'all. Ah, this got me. So then, this is like a mini dorm hall, but I got my, what is this? My cover, my blanket cover to go on my bed. And because I feel like my roommates, they like it cold and I like it hot. So that's why I got me a here too, because I'm not playing with people. So I got me a nice little heater. And then 
I got um, this blanket right here. Um, what is? Oh, then I got some LED lights. I'm thinking I want to hang these in like the kitchen. But I'm gonna see what my roommates think because I kind of don't, but I kind of do want LED lights in my room. But I don't, I don't know, sis. Then I got my baby, my kitchen set, y'all. He got 32 pieces. Don't play with her. All you need, period. Kitchen combo set. This my bag. This gonna be making me some money right here, y'all. Long story short, welcome to my week vlog. Y'all, I've been wanting to do a week vlog for so long and like I finally get a chance to do it. So I'm really excited for that. So it is at the next light. Turn left. On the way to go pick up my girls. They are incoming Clark Atlanta 25. You already know Clark Atlanta girls doing better. HBCU girls doing better. Let me hear. But like, nah, like, I'm finna go pick them up. Oh, it's raining. I don't like that. Mm -mm, hold on, wait a minute, y'all. It was burnt. I don't like the rain. But we're gonna go to, um, I think it's called the loft. It's called the loft, and we're gonna eat dinner there. You know, I'm gonna pay for their fee. Surprise! <laughs> But anyways, y'all, so I should have been start this vlog, like, way, way earlier, like, when I got my hair done. But it's okay. So, I'm starting it now. Oh, look at the pony. Like, it's giving laid, unmovable. The edges, baby. It's the edges for me. Y'all, like, it's, it's the proper pony for me. But, so, if you in the Alabama area and you can make your way to Delta, Alabama, the baby, come get you a pony. Come get you a pony, cause y'all, it's all the way to my um, to my ankle, to my knees too. So like, it's very long, but yeah. But anyways, you guys. So I just got back home from getting my hair done. It's just you know, freshly laid. So what I'm about to do is, y'all, like this is going to be very much a testimony journey. But I'm gonna have to raise some money. So I'm about to um, go raise some money for myself. Now, when I say raise money, I'm not talking about doing all that negative stuff. No, me and my fam, we gonna go out here raise money for school, um, just so we can afford, you know, everything and stuff like that. So we finna go raise us some money. And if whoever said that raising money was not was not it or they try to shame me for it then tell them to kiss your behind because let me tell you when raise the money especially if you're like a small child like me like everybody gonna support you so like we're raising money like ain't nothing wrong with raising money you start you a go fund me start you a dog on car wash or something but you know i ain't gonna do no car wash because i don't want to do that but we're just gonna go out here and raise us some money and stuff like that but, um, yeah, do what you gotta do to make it in life. And I'm not saying that in a negative way. But, um, I am saying, you know, just do what you gotta do. Because at the end of the day, baby, this is your life. Make it happen. But, yeah, so, I think before that, though, um, 
I'm now have to get on a meeting call with my president sister. She goes to Spelman, and you know we both sophomore class presidents, and so we trying to put in some, some works. You know we trying to put in some works for the AUC. Feel me? So well, I'm gonna get on the phone with her in a minute so we can discuss you know the plans and stuff like that. I can't show y'all that information because it's gonna be private. So y'all just have to see when it happened. But yeah, so I'm gonna get on the phone with her really quickly and so we can go over some details and stuff like that. And then yeah, I'll be giving some money back. So the next time y'all see me, it's probably gonna be like when I'm doing my makeup. I don't know. I can't read the future. But yeah, so ah, so excited, y'all. So excited. Y'all, I've noticed I didn't do my tip for today, but I'm going to go ahead and do it now. But my tip of the day for you guys is to honestly just be yourself and don't rush yourself. And don't feel like, you know, you're just always having to compare yourself, if that makes sense. So, like, when it comes to all, when it comes all down to it, you guys, being yourself is the best person you can ever be. I'm going to be so honest with you because you never know what the other person is going through. You never know what the other person might be feeling and stuff like that. And I'm still, you know, going through with trying to not compare myself and trying to remember that I am beautiful. I'm the way God made me and I love myself. And not only if I'm beautiful, but I know the path that God has for me. And it's compared to no other body's path. So you just have to continue to like basically like remember that and... And know to yourself that don't compare your way of life to anybody else's way of life. Their way of life is going to be way different for yours automatically. Just because God didn't create you to be them. God created you to be you. Um, and even if you don't believe in God, then if you believe in universe creator, then hey, you, you, you are you. You are you. Nobody else created you to be you. Um, nobody else created you but you. I mean, nobody else created you to be <laughs> But yeah, y'all hear what I'm saying. But like, yeah, honestly, like, be yourself. Go on your pace. Don't compare yourself. You know, it's a uh, marathon with it, and you know, it's not gonna be like boom, snap out of snap out of a rabbit. I've stopped comparing myself, and I've stopped, you know, seeing how other girls are beautiful because we do it live on social media. So it is that. But all in all, you guys, just remember that you are you, and you're the best person that you could ever be, and you're the only person that can ever be you, and do it faithfully, and do it greatly, so, I remember that, those are words from Canada, but yeah, I'm finna eat and go to sleep, <laughs> I'm gonna probably hit y'all up for our five when we go back out to go fundraise and stuff like that, but yeah, y'all see the pony, y'all see the pony, look at it, it's, it's to the, um, it's to the, it's to the knees, baby, it's to the knees, baby. Who you know? Cause period. Let's get into it. <laughs> All I'm gonna say is y'all was about to not have a blog a vlog, okay? Because your girl almost forgot. But it's for the shoot day, y'all. So um I think I left off when I was giving donations, you know, donations and stuff like that. But um yeah, so then I had woke up and y'all we had to handle i had to put my presidential belt on yes last night yeah i don't know if i told y'all but i had to put my presidential belt on last night because you know when you try to make stuff happen for your class and it's just like people be trying to try you can't do it so we nipped that in the bud and we got it together though um last night i had a meeting call and i don't play that i don't play that i don't play that rude disrespectful uh uh, you treat everybody with respect, no matter a position or by the title, none of that. No matter if they got one or not, you just treat people with respect, and you treat schools with respect too. A school shouldn't define, you know, who you are, what you is, and stuff like that. Like you just don't do that, you know. So I'm just being on respect, disrespectfulness. You don't disrespect me. I'm not gonna disrespect you. You don't disrespect nobody else. Then nobody gonna disrespect you either. So. Just had to nip that in the bud.
over with me because that sounds so bad but um not taking up time off time for myself there you go um in comparison and those is my big things and i know my re my root of it too because i see um i think it was a video someone was like the you know the key thing i think it was in a sarah jake robert book let me know if y'all know but the key thing to finding out you know the root to your problems is the key to working out your problems is to find the root of it all and i know my root of it all and everything like that so it's just me overcoming that you know because i forgive me and all that other stuff and right now it's just time for me to overcome like it's just time for me to let god have that because i'm gonna be honest with y'all i got too much stuff that i'm trying to do too much i got a pimple with that. Ah! i just seen that too but i got too much stuff that i'm trying to do too much stuff that i want to accomplish for myself and life to be sitting here um being sad being depressed and stuff like that first of all that's not just me but that's everybody like especially if you um coming out of high school you finna hit life like this for all my seniors in high school my freshmen in college like you finna hit life like life is not easy it only easy when you make it easy so it's going to be times when you have your hard trials but during those hard trials you don't give up and that's something that i still teach myself every day that even when i feel like i'm hitting rock bottom or i feel like you know i'm not where i want to be and stuff like that because i'm a real grinder grinder overachiever or something like that but yeah I real life like just be gotta have to remind yourself sometimes because not everybody gonna be there you know not everybody gonna be there for you so you gotta remind yourself sometimes and one of my mama queens shout out to my mama queen but my mama queen she told me literally like she was like don't pray for you know other stuff pray for you know people to come into people that's coming into your life for them to be genuine and not want you for selfish reasons and to pray for God to show you people's true colors and stuff like that. And that's facts because you don't want nobody in your corner that's only there for themselves. And you don't want nobody in your corner that's not helping you elevate. You cannot be the only one out of the whole friend group that's trying to help everybody. Somebody in your friend group got to help you. And, I, and you know, you still learn that every day because I'm still learning that every day too. But somebody in your friend group got to help you too. Okay? You cannot be pouring out and giving yourself to the whole world when you when you can't get that back either. So, that's just that on the net. Hold on. speaking their mind and voicing their opinion which is as they should and it's a way to do that effectively too so at this point i'm just saying everybody and i mean everybody if you have something that you want to do if you have something on your mind or anything like that speak your mind do not hold that because you never know what your words can do to impact anybody and i don't care who you are say what the freak you gotta say and say it proudly y'all ah, i hate contouring but it is what it is but yeah, say what you gotta say. Say that you probably because at the end of the day, people want to hear your opinions, and no matter what, and to always speak up, no matter who tries to shut you down. And that's what that movie, uh, I don't know if y'all seen it on Netflix, but the, the best of frenemies or something like that with um, Taraji P. Henson. Yeah, 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 yeah. That that movie right now, powerful, bro, powerful, 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 powerful. No matter who you're facing against, no matter what somebody qualifies, classifies as, you, if you see something not right, then you speak about it. Like, don't sit there and just, and don't say nothing at all. Because then what are you going to do to change it? You can't speak on something and not be willing to change it. This is my own highlighter brush. And not be willing to change it. You know what I'm saying? So, that's that on me. It'll be my next video. It's going to be a question and answer. Get ready with me. Because I want to answer y'all questions and stuff like that. So, that's probably what I'm going to do next. How this video finna have about everything you know give y'all a good old life in chicago i done gave y'all motivational words i done gave y'all some makeup i done gave y'all me fundraising for school i done gave y'all getting my head on one of my videos and he is coming to clark so i'm super excited i'm just excited for the fall like i'm really excited for what's to come like i know because I'm the president of the uh, sophomore class, so, like, I already know what we got planned. Like, we got some big stuff planned. Like, this ain't no average, ain't. You, you want to know what I'm talking about? Like, this ain't nothing average. Like, ain't no class councils done anything like this before. So, you already know how we stepping. I'm just ready for, like, what the school has as a whole. Like, homecoming. I'm ready for the celebrities, bro. I'm hoping, like, we can get, like, Lotto, bro. If we can get Lotto, bro, I'm a freaking shout. But I'm hoping we can get, like, her. 
um i'm just ready to step out in my outfits too y'all i got some cute outfits ready in my head that i just need to buy and get out of my head so i can take my pictures and i can show y'all if y'all not follow me on instagram then i don't know what y'all doing because when i tell y'all i'm finna stay up baby <laughs> Okay, y'all, so I just got done with my photo shoot. It went really, really well. Um, like I said, I don't go to nobody but horse, okay? If you want Alabama, you need a kind of horse for him, okay? I don't go to nobody else but him. I don't play that. But, um, <laughs> um, yeah, so my photo shoot went really well. We got some good pictures. Um, so, like, right now, I'm really just gonna go home and stuff like that and pack. I don't know if y'all want to see me pack, but I'm really finna just go home, pack. Well, first I'm finna eat and rest, and then, then I'm finna pack, and I gotta do some council stuff, some stuff with the council. I gotta get some logistics down um, for our sophomore week, and I gotta get some logistics down um, with this venue. 
make sure we pricing everything right and we're not going ahead of ourselves as well we want to give quality but you know we got to make sure we're not going over you know so yeah